Hey, what's up, what's up, my favorite people? Here I am again. This time I'm gonna make one short review on one Sony, ah, I don't know, basic double cassette deck with Dolby S. I think the most important thing on this deck would be Dolby S. Yeah, it says he's here the big letters. Dolby S and then we have it here B C and S together with MPEX filter of course uh, we could choose direction mode there is a one also very important button auto calibration <laughs> uh, pardon me for my shaky camera we also have a counter on both decks you can Reset or memory, use memory button. There are also automatic memory search function, which means that you can choose any track on the cassette tape. But this time I'm recording some DJ mix, so there is no use for automatic music search. <laughs> so, yeah. But since I'm recording, yeah, it's kind of um, stupid. I have to stop it because I have to demonstrate a couple of things. Should I? Yeah. Before I do that, uh, the model is TCWR635S. S is probably Dolby S. Both are order reverse with Dolby S with two motor transport. You only have option to when you are recording to select your level and balance and the calibration will be set up by microcomputer <laughs> yeah we could say that how does how that goes so we need to put some new tape because deck is somehow able to recognize the tape that you calibrated see this the call C A L. It's on because this cassette tape is already calibrated. Somehow it will recognize the tape. I mean, probably the type of the tape. So, what would happen if I let me see, put some other tape? This is different, still Sony HF. <laughs> Calibration is still on. I, I believe that the deck would recognize the calibration for the um, type of the tape like if it's normal then it's gonna uh, memorize it if you're using the same kind of tape like you don't have to calibrate all the time but no I want to calibrate for every single tape so this time I'm gonna use the Sony HF the simple press of auto calibration button will bring the oh, oh, oh New York sound. <laughs> no, that's not what we needed. We'll bring this calibration, uh, let's say, display, and then you have to press pause. Then it will start. It will rewind the tape a little bit. It will record some noise on it. Recording noise, recording noise, bias, recording levels. Now it's gonna rewind, now it's gonna play and check those levels. And if everything is fine, after everything is fine, it will uh, display the CAL on display. So it's everything is fine. All you have to do is to press record to, to, to select your level. select what, what you're gonna noise reduction if it's gonna be Dolby B C or S as you can see I'm going full Monty here Dolby S so I'm gonna reset this I'm gonna press pause and record it then we have chance to rewind it and play it back then we can see if this recording is if this deck is recording any good Okay, that will be enough.
Oh yes, sounds good. I mean, you know, <laughs> look the previous recording. You can't even hear it. Ah, it's uh, some old tape, of course. If I put some new, brand new chrome tape, of course, the result would be much better. Why don't you do that? I don't know. I really don't know. Where's my crumb tape? Any crumb tape? Ah, there is one here. Look this. Axel too. Uh, let's go on B side. And since we placed the crumb tape type 2 in this deck, now the calibration is off. I have to do it again. Auto calibration, press, pause, and it starts. You could check there. Calibration six, calibration five. Now it's gonna rewind. Now it's gonna play what it was recording and check it, and then everything is fine. It will end up with a C A L on display. Alright, let's record that. This is crumb tape, we can go a little bit higher. But this is plenty. Of course Dolby S crumb tape recently calibrated. A little bit of dust, of course. I didn't have time to clean it up properly. I'm just testing it. Mm -hmm. uh, what's very interesting is I'm not so much familiar with Dolby S. I basically gave up on decks at that time. I used digital audio tape, dot, something like this. But Dolby S brings a lot of bass, which is very important for the modern music. With Dolby S you can record basically modern music with a lot of bass. The bass is very, very strong. Don't get me wrong, the details are also there, but you cannot expect too much from the, you know, basic Dolby S Sony double deck. But what, what it gave me now, it's pretty much good. I like it. I like it, yeah. So let's do it one more time. Now I'm I'm bringing it on four decibels. Picks are get, getting into red. Short recording. Let's check it. Yeah, 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 yeah. yeah. It's there. So I am satisfied with all the calibration. Usually I'm not. But this time I'm satisfied with the Sony <laughs> auto calibration. I have to, to mention that I replaced both all four belts on this custard deck, and that's a video that you maybe some of you already seen. Um, and that uh, this is the result. Like I'm not cheating; it's working. <laughs> yeah, and if I have some. Oh my god, New York's noise is crazy. If I would have some, I'd say, uh, basic tape, basic tape, I mean like a normal regular tape that you would buy in the store. Oopsie, I got squeaky chair. I got some tapes here. We're gonna put one just to test that automatic uh, music search. You see, 
that's what some people would use uh, because if you want to keep on some other track that's useful let's see if it's gonna work with some original tape and my radiator is starting to <laughs> this time we're gonna turn the noise reduction and we're gonna put in ah you see you can find the third track let's see that's what important is fourth second seven next track it's working I'm, I mean it should work while we are waiting the radiator is hissing the sound the building is 100 year old so bear with me uh-huh we are here it's working Man from out Chicago away. Well, I like the song. I think we should do it. No, no, not the version. This is Vogue, I think, yeah. This one. Then he dropped that beat. He was a boy from out Chicago away. Oh, yeah. <laughs> I mean, I'm already copyrighted, so who cares, but the radiator is hissing. I forgot to turn it off before I recording, so I feel embarrassed. <laughs> Don't be embarrassed. <laughs> I'm just kidding. Who cares? All right. That's a bit. See you next time. All right.